What is up everybody, this is Supersight and welcome back to another video of Heyday. Now this video is going to be uh, mainly gameplay, but I am going to first continue on slightly from the Wheating, uh, which I did in the last video, and I've just got a few more interesting, uh, just a few more interesting questions uh, for you, well I find the questions interesting, uh, that's up to you to decide, uh, and so then you'll be able to just uh, think about some more, oh white sugar, right, we want that, there and cream awesome thank you pal and oh we didn't want that anyway we bought it right and how can we get this yes going in going in like a hawk i could do with some spare apples right turn the page okay looking good double check here anything good no nothing new and going over here right to the corn uh yes we can make some profit on that if we resell it cool so that is a great start to the video right and have we got right so someone's requesting me my friends and i will accept that awesome Right, and then coming back, and we're going to sell off the corn. Right, so I'll just get one of these revived. As you can see, uh, I've got a lot of dead things, but actually they, they can... Oh, uh, that... No, that was a tree. Okay, so they, they can... Uh, yeah, I think they can all be revived. Uh, I just use this revive technique in order to get uh, more sales. Right, so I'll put that on sale, and we'll put this one on sale, and then we'll go back to talking about... Uh, right, the, like, last... Not really... I'm not going to go much... I'm not going to do anything... Uh, over last video again, I'm just going to go into some interesting uh, a couple of interesting questions and a couple of stuff right so uh, for example, if you could be paid in coins or upgrading slash expansion uh, tools uh, like for example these, uh, which would you rather? Now, I'm sure uh, most people would say that they'd want to be paid in these because, of course, you can, if, for example, you could get paid 270 coins or be paid a plank. Which would you rather? Well, of course, probably you'd say these because you can just, uh, you can still sell these instantly and people are still going to uh, buy them instantly. And as well as that, it will help other stuff in your shop sell and you'll probably gain some followers if you're selling these things. So why wouldn't you want to be paid in, uh, paid in these? Also, you can keep as many or as few of these as you want, uh, so you keep the ones you want and sell off the ones uh, you don't want. And so that that was uh, sort of uh, from last episode with Wheating. With Wheating, you kind of get paid in the tools, whereas the uh, corning, you get paid for the corn. Uh, and I'll go into a couple of ratios about that in a second. But that is why it is it's far better to be getting tools than to be getting uh, coins. Right, and so then if you did get these, and let's say you didn't want them, you could trade them with a player like me. And so I would, and this is where it gets interesting. Right, so uh, I'm just saying at this point in the game it might change, but I would be happy to pay more than 270 coins per plank. And I'd be, what I mean by that, and this is at this point in the game, so don't quote me in two years and saying, you said that you would do, I'm just saying, at this point in the game, I would be happy to pay more than 270 coins for a plank. And so I would happily trade you 10 bracelets, uh, if I'd unlock them, or uh, assuming that I'm at that level, 10 bracelets uh, for 10 planks. And if you don't know, 10 bracelets are worth uh, about 7,000 coins, 7,272, and 10 planks uh, are worth 2,700 coins. Now, I, but I value the planks uh, far more than I value bracelets, uh, e even though the game suggests bracelets are worth more because they have a higher cost. So I would be willing to pay 2.7 times more for planks than what the game values them at. And so I would do the trade with you. This is just at this point in the game, uh, at, or, or at level 40, uh, it could change, but at this current position, I would be happy to trade uh, 10 planks. F uh, I mean, I'd give you, uh, I'd buy, no, wait, I'm just thinking. I would, I'm just trying to think, I would buy 10 planks uh, off you and then sell you 10 bracelets at the same price I bought the planks off you. So then you get all those kind of free coins per se, because uh, that's why I, I'm... And so then I would happily sell two thousand uh, ten of my bracelets for two thousand seven hundred and buy ten of your planks for two thousand seven hundred and then you'd you'd gain a few thousand coins for free. That is how much I uh, value these uh, materials, especially the ones I don't have in this case planks. So I'd even be willing to uh, pay you coins. 
coins, uh, more than 270 in order to get them, and by me buying, uh, selling bracelets for 2,700, then you then resell them for 7,200, so you gain a few thousand coins for free. Anyway, I'm going back to the uh, the wheat ratio, uh, which uh, was like, and what, what, what I mean my wheat ratio is of the amount of income when wheating that you get from the tools, how much of, uh, well, how, uh, from, from in total, how much of the income that you get from weeding is from the tools and how much is from selling the wheat. Now, I'm not sure if this is surprising, but it, depending on your level, it slightly varies, but within the whole time from level 1 to level 400 or forever more, it just, it, it's this. You will get 97 to 99% of your income from the tools, from, from keeping the tools or selling the tools, and you'd only get 1 to 2.5%. 77%, so 1, 1 to 3% of your income is from selling the wheat. That's how minuscule, uh, when you're wheating, the amount of wheat is. It only gives you 1 to 3% of your income, and why I say 1 to 3% is depends on your level. Uh, when you get uh, high, it becomes, uh, like, once you get past 77 and above, level 77 and above, it becomes 2.77% uh, of your income, that being the highest amount that it's ever worth, and then you get almost all the other income from the tools themselves, which I think is quite interesting. Uh, but then on, and so then yeah, night is like 99% from the tools and 1% from selling the wheat. Now corn is different. From level 14 onwards, and level 14 is quite quite small. From level 14 onwards, you get less uh, less than 50% of your income from tools. So uh, from level uh, one to 14, well, whenever you unlock corn, maybe that's level two. From level two to 14, you get slightly more profit percentage. Like you'd get 50, just over 50% from getting the tools. But from level 14 onwards, and that's a really low level, you get over 50% of your income from selling the corn. And, and so I th it's quite interesting because that is more, you're getting the income from the corn, not from, uh, not so much from the tools. And so uh, the percentage of profit uh, made from the corn, uh, how much you make, the income that you get, the percentage that is made from selling the corn, continues increasing slowly from level 14 to level, level 77. And at, from level 77, it stays consistent. But at level 77, the, prof, the amount of, uh, from your profit, 67 0.25% of that is from selling the corn. So that's over two thirds of your income when corning is from selling the corn itself. Whereas with wheating at level 77, it's like 97, uh, like for, from selling the wheat, it's only like 3%. Whereas the tools for the wheating is 97%. Uh, whereas with the, uh, the selling the corn, it's uh, at from level 77 onwards, it's only 32.75%. Uh, so the tools become far more less significant in the amount of uh, percentage of, of the income. So it's about selling the corn, which gives you the profit, whereas with weeding, it's about the tools, selling the tools or keeping the tools. That's where you get the profit. So I just thought that's something interesting. And just to put that, and also to put in perspective, uh, for example, let's assume you're going to go weeding the whole day uh, for 24 hours. Let's assume that your level uh, 30, and this is uh, level 30, so this is how many tools you would get from wheating at level 30. So, uh, and that's uh, the time factor. I've worked out, it, it, it like slightly would reduce it. For example, uh, you might get a thousand less coins in total, but this isn't about the coins, so forget about the time factor. But at level 30, in one day, you would get from wheating with how many fields you've got, and that's actually me right now, well, less three fields. So if I had three less fields, if I have 48 fields, I would get if I did waiting for a day, 622 items. So like pro like uh like this kind of stuff like uh these kind of things and, and so on. 622. That is a lot. And assuming that I had a barn that like I had never upgraded before, and assuming that I got all these materials, I could upgrade my barn 19 times on the first day I did that. Of course, it will then get really more expensive because you need lots. But you could upgrade your barn 19 times in one day if you were doing weeding the whole day and you just got these materials. Uh, right. So now at level 57, if you're doing weeding the whole day, 
you would get 872 uh, of these items. Not, you know, of the 15 I listed yesterday. Uh, well, sorry, in, in my previous video, uh, that you'd get, uh, oh, there's 15 different items. There's these, there's the uh, mine uh, things, and then there's the saw and the axe, and uh, the, like, the deeds and, the, and all that. And so that there is, uh, you get... 872 of them at level 57, and you could upgrade your barn, assuming it was, you hadn't upgraded it before, you could, and assuming that you got all those, which you wouldn't, but in, in, equivalent, you could upgrade your barn 27 times. Now, to level, uh, level 100, which is, is getting up there, many people at that level, you would get from weeding all day, uh, 1,197 items. That is a lot of items, over a thousand, uh, like, of these upgrading materials or expansion materials, like the deeds and, and that kind of stuff. So that's 1,197, and so assuming you'd never upgraded your barn before or your silo, you could upgrade it 27 times. That is a lot of times in one day, but that would only be the first day, of course, because then it gets way more expensive. And then, of course, for the very top guy, level 421 guy, uh, anyway, he would get in a day... From harvesting all this, uh, if he was wheating, uh, constantly for 24 hours, he would get 1,917 items. 1,917 items, that is a lot of items, like upgrading materials and expansion. And so if he hadn't upgraded his barn before, he could upgrade his barn 35 times in one day. 35 times. That is a lot of upgrading a barn. A lot of upgrading a barn. So I thought I'd just share uh, those statistics uh, uh, that I've worked out, uh, which I think is pretty cool, because it just shows, even for me, at level 31, I could make, from wheating, well, last level, oh, there we go, I harvested some of that. Last level, I could be making, getting 622 items per day uh, uh, from wheating. And so, you know, all those people, you know, that you want to upgrade your barn or your silo, and you're like, oh, it's good. It's so hard to get materials. You can get in my level, and almost everyone, every one of you watching this video will probably be level higher than level thirty, probably. So think you will be getting at least six hundred and twenty-two items per twenty-four hours if you're doing this. Of course, you're not going to do it for twenty-four hours. Uh, congratulations if you do. But I'm just trying to sh tell you how many you can get, how how easy it is to get them if you just take the time to do a bit of weeding. 622 uh, last level I could be making, so I'll be able to get even more. And that is a lot, that is a lot of, of uh, different things you can get. So that is uh, basically it for those uh, that I, I thought I'd just uh, tell you. I thought that was quite interesting uh, that, that the top player gets uh, 1,917 uh, items per day if he was waiting all day. But the fact that I can get 622, that is a lot. That is heaps. Uh, so I thought that was quite interesting. Uh, yeah, anyway. Right, so we have, uh, now going, so that was just sort of a, a extra things I thought you might find interesting, uh, like the percentage of how much of the income they each get, and also, uh, the how many items you get. But now I'm just going to, uh, go through the video, and I'm just gonna do, uh, get my farm up and running again, uh, because as you know, it's sometimes, uh, before I sell those, uh, it, see, this is when it's gone, and I'm gonna get it up and running. Now, as you can see, I didn't produce anything in the sugar mill, and the, the, uh, dairy, and I was so silly, I was like, for example, with the sugar mill, I was like, should I produce brown sugar or white sugar, and I got all my other machines going, and then I forgot I hadn't decided, and then I come back, I'm like, no, I didn't produce either of them, that's so annoying, so I will go ahead, uh, I think I've got some spare brown sugar, uh, yeah, I have got one, so I'm gonna go straight into white sugar, uh, because I, I need white sugar, it's very crucial, uh, thankfully, I was able to buy a couple, so that will keep me, uh, going, uh, anyway, I'm going to, uh, Right, so I'll just check through here. Any good things? Not that good. Okay, uh, and I'm just... Uh, I needed that wheat. Uh, right, so two. Okay, now I'm going to get my machines going, and then I'm going to show you uh, some success... Oh, there's always something you need. Uh, okay, so I'll do that, and then I'll get a uh, cow, right, and then, right, so I've got those two going. Uh, we're just going to get the, as many as we can going uh, as quickly as possible, and then just get this farm back in action. Right, so we can do that. Uh, with here, I guess I could do a pancakes. Uh, right, so, and then that's going. Uh, I, I could fill them up, but I'm just doing what I, I've got to do. Right, so I'm just thinking of everything i got to do, and then I'm going to get it back up and running. Right, so uh, as you can see, I'm getting very, 
very full and it's quite annoying. Uh, I probably should, yeah, I definitely should have been reviving some of the stuff quicker so I could sell it anyway. Uh, it's how it is. Right, so then we'll do that, that, and that, and that, like so, and then this will be ready. Okay, so we'll harvest this, and then we'll plant it through. So I'm going to show you weeding as well as keeping the farm up running. Of course, I'm meant to do that first, uh, but anyway, it, it definitely helps if you've got lots of space in your barn, uh, definitely. Right, so I, I want to sell things off three at a time if possible. Right, so I advertise the tomato and put on another thing. I'm always constantly putting things on when I advertise, and I'm still not doing it enough. Right, so I'll do that, and... Okay, so now I'm going to sell these off. It takes a while, uh, especially with the low, uh, with the full barn storage. So as you know, I'm so always trying to get it upgraded if I can, right? And I just like to clear, sell off as much stuff as I can. Uh, people love buying these things because they're not always available. Okay, so we'll sell that. As you can see, people are already buying it, and that's really good. Okay, now we'll do the cookies. People love cookies. Okay. And so, annoyingly, they've bought my ad, uh, but I didn't put much in there, so they were going to buy it. Okay, and we'll do a couple of them for sale. So then immediately, when I have space, I, I don't have to keep filling up on these things. Right, so we've got that going. Uh, let's see. Okay, we need some wheat, which will be ready in a couple of minutes, and an egg. Right, and so then I go through and I sell off all these things, which people love buying. They're still buying them, even though I haven't got my ad. Uh, the ad still was probably up, uh, but it could be followers coming in. I'm not sure. Uh, how many? I think I'm up to 15 followers. 16. Awesome. Okay. And we're still on the 704 visitors. Okay. So we're selling off the stuff that people absolutely love. Uh, and I'll just check this. Hopefully there's nothing more than five like that other day when I missed... Uh, oh, right. So I missed that. Uh, when there's like 10 planks and then planks is what you need and you can't buy the planks. Awesome. There we go. We can get a smelter going with that. Right. Like so. Uh, oh. No, we don't have enough of them, and we haven't got any of those at the moment. As you can see, I've got so many of them. Uh, just because of uh, how I'm playing uh, makes it uh, my barn get full far more often. Uh, when I reach uh, a higher level, uh, it will become so much easier. But with how I play it, it, it doesn't... It, it, oh, right, so definitely get some cream going. Definitely immediately get it going. Okay, and then we get a couple of them and an egg. Right, so then we've got that machine going. As long as you get one thing in there, that is uh, key. Right, so we haven't got the cotton shirts. That is producing cotton. Uh, right, so I'm just making sure I get as many as I can going. Okay, three eggs. Uh, one, two, three. Awesome. Uh, four. Anyway, there we go. That one's going. So those three are going. That's going. That's going. Right, so I just haven't got my smelters uh, and the sewing machine going and the feed machines. Right, so now, um, okay, I'll have to uh, harvest this like so. Okay, right, so going in and selling some stuff. Right, for lots of profit. There we go. Well, we're over 100,000. We have been for uh, a while now. Okay, right, so we're selling off some wheat now. Okay, putting it down to one coin so it sells nice and quickly, uh, like so. And that should still be enough to fill up all these when I harvest this. Right, so I'll go like that. Awesome. Okay, so we'll sell, uh, do that. That's perfect. Right amount, uh, and then we have the boat, which will probably, yep, just send straight off. Okay, and then we have the animals, which we want to get feeding as soon as possible. Right, so we have lots of wool. Uh, I think I, I think I'll sell the wool off. Uh, and what else can I afford to sell off? Uh, that I don't need. Uh, okay, I don't need that. They probably won't sell overly quickly anyway. Right, and I'm just seeing I don't have another white sugar, so I can't get rid of that cream. Uh, although it, I, I want the cream, but at the same time I want to sell it. Uh, right, so I'm going to have to sell the wool off uh, in clumps, which is kind of annoying, unless I sell my platinum more. I think I might actually, because the smelters are so bad at producing coins, I'll just get rid of these, which will then free up some more space so I can sell the wool off quicker. Right, so then we'll go like so. Okay, that there are uh, decent chunks. Okay, how much is that? Okay, seven wool. I can I can handle selling seven wool at once. Okay, cool. So then we can then get some sheep feed and we can get these feeding. Right, actually, what I sh I shouldn't I didn't do that right. Anyway, uh, right. So I'll collect these like so. There we go. Now we can start producing. I'll just get them producing. They don't need to be producing much as long as they're going. Uh, while I'm trying to work out everything I need to do. Okay, there we go. We've done that and that. I think I think I'll put it all on cream. Right, like so. Okay, and then we go through and we'll sell the bacon off. 
Okay, get that bacon and that bacon. It really helps if you can sell it as 10 because uh, then people like like it sold as 10, but also then it doesn't fill up as many slots like I'm doing here. Anyway, uh, people will hopefully buy it when I get the next advert on. Okay, I'm just seeing everything that's going. Okay, cool, and then we'll get those cows, three of them. Right, so actually we'll just go ahead and we'll sell off uh, oh, yay, an axe. <laughs> I don't really need that, actually, uh, right then, but still, it's good. Okay, and then we'll sell off these milk, uh, because uh, these cows are going to be ready before the ice cream requires another milk. Okay, now we have... Oh, I shouldn't have collected that bread, actually. Anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll harvest this. Right, so lots more wheat. Okay, right, so I'm looking forward to uh, when my advert's ready. There we go, the advert is ready, and I'll put it on right there. And then I'll uh, get rid of one of these trees. I'll put another one of those on. Okay, cool, and then we are full. Uh, I might have to start... I'm going to sell... Uh, do one load of corn uh, solely because my silo is full, and otherwise uh, I'm just going to fill up on stuff that I can't sell. Okay, so I'll do those as corn, and right, and then I'll just do these other ones as wheat. Uh, it doesn't really matter that I'm doing that, because uh, then I'm corning in theory. I'm, technically, I'm wheating and corning. Uh, anyway, there we go. People are coming in and buying stuff. Awesome. Right, so I'll be able to sell off some of these, which is great. Uh, we want them to buy up the wheat uh, as quick as possible, so then we can start planting wheat again. I probably could have planted wheat that lot, but never know. If this stuff doesn't sell, it will have been worth it. Okay, now I'm checking for what I can sell next. Okay, they are out. And, right, so we can immediately uh, do this, and then come in here, and then do this. And, right, so we've got another couple of bacon to sell off there. Okay, and then, yay, we're finally getting to these, which we can start feeding the chickens which is awesome. Uh, I'm not looking forward to having to do these eggs because people don't like buying eggs. Uh, right, so there we go. Yes, thank you, pal. And he bought the one with the ad, as they tend to do. Okay, now we'll go through and we'll get some eggs. Uh, I'm just checking that everything that needs eggs. Oh, right, so a couple of them have been revived now. Awesome. Right, so I'll go ahead and I'll sell an unusual amount of eggs. I don't like selling eggs like this amount, uh, but sometimes you kind of have to just because of uh, how it goes. Right, and then this lot should uh, do or to do it. Right, so there's one more in there. Okay, and then that will be awesome because then we will have got the eggs uh, gone. Uh, right, so then we have some more free space. And I'll just check these two visitors. Uh, uh, it would be nice if they request wheat. They don't tend to, but it's nice when they do. Okay, no sorry, no sorry. Right, so hopefully we can get some more wheat uh, ready. Okay, and now we can go through and we can get these and feed them. Right, so then I can grab a couple this time. Okay, and then more feed for the chickens. And then uh, one more lot. And then we have all the chickens fed, which is good. So actually, me putting on chicken feed uh, has been... Uh, work no, I didn't want to collect that. Oh, well. Okay, now I'm going to go through and I'm going to get rid of these. Uh, right, so those ones are... Oh, right, so there's uh, some more wool. Uh, wool. Right, and then we've got that and that. And then there's one more to feed. Anyway, now we can get rid of the wool. Uh, it's, it's a hard process uh, when you haven't got much space, but you can slowly manage. Okay, checking through here. It, oh, nails, awesome. Awesome, awesome, yes, yes. Oh, now my barn's more full, but I'm ha uh, happy because uh, then I'm closer, uh, getting much closer towards my silo. Right, so I need two more. It will be really awesome if I can get those. So now weeding would come in handy because it's full, and since I'm probably not going to be able to find them uh, in small amounts in the paper, uh, then it's going to be really handy to uh, just do some quick weeding to get them. Right, so I can sell off them because uh, I don't need that many. And then we're just going to see what else. Right, so we had the bacon. I think there's a couple more uh, down here that we... Yep, cool. And then we're able to do the next pig feed if I have... I think I have a pig feed ready. Okay, cool. So we can do that. And then, right, so we can do another bread now. Uh, right, so there's a pig feed at the bottom of that. Really unhelpful. Uh, I'm just checking. Right, so now I can tap that safely. Uh, and we're going to need corn now. Right, so the corn will be ready in a minute. Sweet. Okay, we're getting, we're getting, uh, right, so while we're waiting for that, we'll go get some fish, and, okay, right, so we got them there, we got that there, we got our these going, uh, right, and we can do another couple of fishing nets, and I think it's time to finally cast the mystery net, and hopefully we get Pearl of the Sea. This will probably be the only, this, like, I think it's fair to say, this is probably going to be the only mystery net I ever cast, and it has been cast, and it will be ready in 21 hours. So in 21 hours, we could have Pearl of the Sea. That, that's my hope. 
Right, so we are fishing away. We're uh, waiting for the fish to come. Right, there it comes. Right, so we're going to catch it, and then we'll get a couple of fillets, and then we'll sell the fillets off, because we don't, uh, at this, at my level, uh, I don't really want to do anything that uh, requires fish. Uh, right, so we're going in like so. Okay, here we go, fish. Here we go. Oh, whoa, whoa, it's, oh, oh, it's aggressive fish. Right, so we caught the fish. Okay, and then we can go straight back here. Okay, cool, and now we've got two fillets uh, to sell off. Right, and so then we'll be back here, and the corn's almost ready. Awesome. Okay, and then we can do our next advert in a couple of uh, 28 seconds. Okay, and then waiting for this to go right like so. Okay, that's there. Uh, anything else? Uh, two nails would be awesome, uh, but yeah, it's unlikely I'd find two nails. Uh, anything good? Nope, nothing too good. Right, and then we're waiting for the corn. What did we need the corn for? That's right, we needed it for that, and we still have... That's a good amount, because it means I can tap on this feed, and I won't collect it, because uh, I don't really want to collect it at the moment. Uh, and Right, so I have uh, one lot of cows that need doing, and one lot of pigs, and I do need one sheep feed, so I'll, someone will be lucky enough to get a couple of spare sheep feed. Right, so the corn... On. Come on, here we go, let's go. Right, so there we go, okay, and then we'll get some of these going. One, two, uh, three, four, and uh, that, that ought to do. Okay, so they're going, right, and then we have the corn, and then we're going to go back to wheating uh, and hope that we will get some nails. Uh, right, so there we go, we've got that wheat on, and we'll harvest that, and we'll put, whoa, no, no, don't want to cut that, okay, we got one of them, right, and so I'm not going to actually use it now, because the unlikely chance, well, actually, I could use it, yeah, I will use it, actually, uh, and then just take a snapshot, like so, uh, so I've got that ready uh, for uh, my chart thing, okay, and coming back here, right, so we still have that amount of space, uh, we can now do another one of these, oh, right, so we're down through, we need wheat, uh, where did our wheat, oh, right, we planted our wheat, okay, cool, oh, and then we'll sell these two, and then we'll come along here, right, so we're gonna put some more wheat on advert, and then we'll get, uh, advertise that one, cool, so that's going, and then we've got, right, so, uh, who cares about that, okay, and then we have the wheat getting ready, which is great, Right, do you want wheat? Nope, you want shovel. They all want shovels, because uh, shovels is one of my top three, and they tend to request the top three. Right, so anything good in here? Okay, nothing too good. Uh, and then how much of that? Right, we have three, so we'll do our sheep uh, in here. I think it's just one. Is it one? Uh, yes, just one. Okay, we'll sell off those two. We don't want those two. Right, so that sheep feed can go, and then we're going to need some cow feed. Uh, right, I should have put a cow feed on there anyway uh and, and to to start making anyway i didn't so i'll just have to go with what i got right and okay i think i need some more uh of soybeans how many oh all right so we got one get another one there i'm just gonna check how many i've got uh right 53 that's actually plenty okay cool and then we got that advertised and hopefully people coming in uh ready to buy stuff and then this week we'll be ready and then i'll start selling it off again so hopefully people don't buy the advert and it's awesome to buy all this other stuff uh which is good because it's making me lots of free space as you can see it's so easy to maintain the farm i'm just uh doing the odd thing while at the same it, it hasn't been the perfect uh sample actually uh because i planted some corn and all that uh when i have a, a, a upgraded my barn it's really easy uh <laughs> wow okay Right, so I have to know, and they bought that. Oh, well, I'll sell off some corn, because uh, I've got too much corn. You generally only need around uh, certain crops you need lots of. For example, pumpkins I never need, literally never. Uh, I guess pumpkin pie, but I don't even make, I normally make bacon pie, so it's a very uh, useless uh, crop for me at this level. Right, so I'll sell off some of that stuff, and that will open a bit more space. Right, obviously not nearly enough. Okay, and then we'll go and we'll sell a couple of these these off uh, like so okay so 131 coin a uh, thousand coins I'm happy with that right so there we go and there we go we can sell off uh, some we can sell this down because we know that we'll get more from harvesting all this I probably could have sold another one but we'll just do this in case right so then that's full but then we'll plant this and then we will harvest this and then plant this and then that will be back on weeding track okay cool so we got that going our uh, barn so we got three space in that I'm um, not seeing any nails. Uh, this is the time where I generally go through and I check my friends, uh, which I, I might actually do. I'll just check a couple of them. Right, so there's this guy, 
And there's this guy. So I'll go back. Okay, uh, anything new here? No. Uh, right, so I, I'm just going to uh, wait, hopefully. I'm going to do some weeding, and then eventually I will be able to get, hopefully, two more nails. Uh, and so then I can finally upgrade my silo, and that will free up 60 space, as well as increasing my uh, storage to 550, which is awesome. Okay, and this is refreshed. Two nails, come on, let there be two nails. No, there's no two nails. Okay, so we'll come over here, and oh, yes. Oh, no, full. Okay, that's that's really good profit. Uh, it's probably going to be sold out, but I'll try my best to get back there as quick as possible. Get back there ASAP. Right, so that's two. Oh, hopefully, I get another couple. Uh, no, right, so there's someone else smart out there also buying them. Because they're selling them for 40, you sell them for 144, they're just giving away 104 coins. So then that's like 100, 200, 300, 400, 800 coins right there for free, uh, plus the 4 times 8. So it's 824 coins right there. Just buy 8 of them, resell them, you've just made yourself almost 1,000 coins just like that. So easy. And so that's why I always love uh, looking through buying and reselling stuff. It's really profitable. Right, see if this... Oh, he had a duct tape anyway. I didn't get that. Oh, a shovel. Uh, okay, I guess shovels are good. Well, it's always good. It's just the fact that I'm really wanting nails. Uh, anyway, and then that's going. Uh, we got our wheat coming up. Uh, we better sell some more stuff because otherwise we're going to be full. Right, I can't afford to sell some cherries and blackberries because I've got plenty more coming uh, when I revive them. Right, and I actually don't use apples that much, so I will sell those apples I bought earlier. Uh, that will make someone really happy and maybe even follow me just because I sold those apples. Okay, and then we'll come along here. We'll, uh, right, so... Oh, yeah! Yes. Oh, I thought that was nails. Okay, not quite. Okay, so we, we'll eventually get there. Anyway, I'm going to sell this wheat off uh, like so. Wait for the advert. Replant some more wheat. And this is this is wheating. Uh, not at its best. Uh, certainly not at its best uh, because it's just the silo and barn are often full. Uh, but when I get slightly higher, it will become really cool. And I'll be able to show you some awesome wheating and how great it is. Okay, cool. So, right. That will wrap up this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. It has been mainly gameplay. Uh, I'm going to be doing a whole lot more gameplay videos now. Uh, eventually, I will return to my sole focused ones on facts and really interesting things. Uh, the gameplay is, I try and make it as interesting as possible. Uh, so please let me comment, uh, please comment uh, uh, what you thought of it. Uh, yeah, I'll be doing a whole heap more gameplay uh, videos from now on. Uh, the, the, the length, uh, let me know if you want it longer or shorter. Like, I could do long ones and then you just watch it uh, when you have a spare time. Or if you want them to, like, or, like watching the whole thing then and there, let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll try and make my videos according. Uh, I'm trying to keep them around half an hour. I can make them slightly longer or slightly shorter, uh, but half an hour seems to be the, uh, the, the reasonable amount. Please like the video if you learned something new or want to see uh, more of these kind of videos. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Superside, and remember to make coins faster than honeybees make honey.